welcome to this Pomacon Expo special show. We are here at the stall of Volvo Construction Equipment. And when we say Volvo Construction Equipment, it does not need any introduction. Volvo Construction Equipment is a leading international manufacturer of premium construction equipment. With over 180 years of construction and innovation expertise, Volvo Construction Equipment is at the forefront of technological development. With a full product range manufactured, serviced and supported all over the globe, Volvo Construction Equipment has the right machine and the right solution for the construction needs. Present here at the Bomber Con Expo 2023, Volvo Construction Equipment has displayed its best and most innovative technologies, like the electrical one just behind me. Now, our editor Subhajit Roy will talk to Dimitrov Krishnan, Managing Director of Volvo Construction Equipment India, to know about their participation at BomaCon Expo 2023. So, uh, welcome to Mojafar Industry and uh, mm -hmm. after last week's one we are talking again. Yes. So, uh, whether it's uh, you know, road building, airport development, uh, increasing or rather improving uh, uh, port connectivity, or even uh, you know, increasing mining productions, India has made a kind of significant inroads during the past uh, uh, past decade, you can say. Mm. So, wh what's your projections on the years to come and uh, how do you look at the year uh, to 2023 very specifically? Yeah, I think, uh, firstly, reflecting on the a little bit the history, you know, 2018 was a very significant year when India crossed Japan as the third largest uh, the country in the world for construction equipment demand, you know, so so since then we have stayed at the number four position. I heard recently that in the auto industry, this happened last year. So CE industry was moving a little bit further ahead in the ranking in the global, uh, you know, uh, arena. So, uh, but since then, of course, we've had two, three years of tough times. You know, we had the 2019 affected by LFS and the election year. And then subsequently, we had the COVID years. Two years of very heavy effect of COVID in 2020 and 2021. And then 2022 was the most normal year, we can say, uh, which has happened um, uh, in, the, in the last four years. On a, uh, you know, while the first nine months was only at 17 kilometers per day, you know, last uh, month it picked up uh, to uh, 32, which is uh, also visible in our uh, construction equipment demand because we saw increase in the road construction equipment demand, excavators picked up. Um, so, other than road, uh, the segments like mining and uh, real estate uh, as well as urban construction infrastructure has been very strong. And these have been driving demand for concrete equipment and all that. Coming to 2023, um, I believe that the momentum that has picked up in Q4 of uh, last year will continue into this year. And being a pre-election year and also looking at the budget, which was very much expect on the expected lines, the focus on infrastructure stays. So a lot of projects that need to be delivered in this year and, and government uh, in, in, with the fact that election is coming in 2024, 20, uh, will obviously like to complete many projects and close the deliveries of many of them. So I expect it will be strong. 2024 has a different challenge. 24 has a challenge of both the elections, which is a typically the six months of slow, uh, slow sales. But at the same time, uh, is also uh, the next change in the emissions for the road equipment. But in the long term, I would still say, you know, India is poised to be uh, the second largest market in the world by 2030. We believe in that future. Uh, this year, uh, fiscal year closing in March, I'm sure it will probably be uh, quite close to the 18-19 year or maybe even exceed it at the end. So that's uh, that's my view on the industry so far. Right. So could you put some numbers on the year-on-year -year growth uh, segment wise if you have? Uh, well, I would say, you know, um, what we've seen in general, overall, the growth uh, calendar year to calendar year was about 20% plus. And uh, in road construction equipment, it was a degrowth. Uh, it is almost 20% lower. And uh, in earth moving, we have seen about 15 to 20% level. Uh, and then uh, in the concreting products, it has been quite high, more than uh, upwards of 50% growth. So it's a mixed picture, you know, so uh, different, different product segments have seen different growth. So uh, would you like to talk about the performance of uh, Volvo C, how it's done in 2020 and 23, how it's going? So 22 was good, interesting for us. Uh, we managed to maintain our pace of growth at the same level as the market. So we are quite satisfied with what we've been able to achieve. 
particularly uh, in a challenging year where road equipment demand was low, where, whereas our sales as a large percentage of road equipment, mm -hmm. we still managed to register a reasonable growth. We saw market share gains in wheel loaders, uh, motor graders, as well as compactors. And all of those, we maintained our current level of share. Uh, what is going to uh, drive the growth for you in 2023? So 2023, uh, two, three things I would like to say. Firstly, we also, you know, used the exhibition here in Bamakon Expo to launch our electric range. And so that is the biggest shift, we can say, which we have, uh, we are making in our business and, uh, and in the industry. Our, our uh, aim by showcasing these products in this exhibition is to start the transformation of the industry itself. You know, uh, decarbonization as an agenda needs to be owned in the industry and to be driven in the industry. And our aim is to bring products, uh, showcase them, but post this exhibition also we will do trials with the end customers so that we prove that it is possible to make electric products viable in several applications if not for all. And that will be our aim. Post uh, Q2, we will also be taking, uh, doing uh, opening for pre-bookings and then obviously start deliveries for electric machines later this year. So that is our most significant. It won't amount to a lot of volume, but it will be a very significant shift in our strategy as to what is the products that we want to sell in the future. Our stated ambition is that by 2030, 35% of whatever we sell will be electric. Uh, electric, when we say electric, it is electric or it's hydrogen electric or it's a fuel cell electric, you know, or uh, hydrogen IC engines. So by our aim is that by 2040, uh, we will be, uh, you know, fully uh, switch from the diesel uh, generation to the future generation. Coming to the conventional products, uh, I expect uh, road construction equipment to be strong. So we will see good growth there. Uh, mining segments remains very strong and uh, we are we have been struggling to make all deliveries. I mean, we have more orders than deliveries. And uh, even though we've improved share in general, but uh, the ability to meet customer demand has been a challenge. And this year, uh, we hope to be catching up on that and then do well on the mining deliveries for customers. Um, and then, of course, on the wheel loaders and motor graders, we like to continue to gain share. Uh, our dealers network has become very strong and our dealers are able to, you know, make a difference when it comes to uh, meeting customers and, you know, engaging customers in good conversations and retaining customers. Our customer satisfaction focus has been very high and we've seen uh, retention rates improve customer retention rates improve. So I will expect to see that also continue. In addition, on the services side, um, in addition to what we offer as part services and attachments, we also have launched our equipment as a service program where customers can choose to uh, take machines from us and pay for uh, pay for the per hour usage or per cubic meter, uh, you know, of uh, production that it does. So that's a new fee new service which we have launched and we hope to uh, make that into a viable business by end of this year. Okay. So uh, when it comes to electric construction machines, actually uh, Volvo construction equipment is pioneer actually in that particular yes. uh, category. When you uh, talk about Indian market to be very specific. So and you have already launched a couple of products also. Mm -hmm. So do you see that, that the demand is going to be there though you are not considering the volume is yet to come? Uh, demand will come. Uh, I can tell you. Uh, Already in the previous exhibition and even in this exhibition, customers are coming and asking us for uh, electric options for certain applications. So this this is going to uh, you know um, uh, be uh, something that is driven by uh, ultimately customer demand. You know, and I think uh, it's happening. And uh, there are certain segments where it's very clear that electric will be the preferred option. And not only that, there will be certain other segments where once we prove the concept, it will become the option. And it's a matter of time and it's a matter of, uh, you know, facilitating that transformation of the industry. And I think our, our aim is to actually make that happen. By when we can expect the product to be commercially available in the market? By end of this year, we hope to start deliveries of some units. Uh, I mean, it will be still small units. We'll be doing a uh, few units to customers who have fully bought onto this concept because the, the fact is that compared to a diesel product, uh, a pure electric machine with batteries uh, costs more because the battery costs are still uh, high. But uh, we will make it easier for customers to own it, both by 
offering products uh, in a equipment as service concept but also by maybe even offering battery as a service concept so we are thinking of multiply uh, looking at multiple business models commercial models to take this machine so we have wheel loader and excavator so we, we have showcased a five and a half ton mini excavator it's a segment we don't participate today with a, a conventional product a diesel product so we are going to enter that market with an electric machine and on the V loader, it's a product uh, five ton loader, which um, we today uh, sell a L958, uh, which is doing very well. But in the same category, we are bringing L956 from the SDLG range. And this product will be, um, you know, um, will be positioned for segments where we see charging is not a big challenge. And there are many of them, you know, it's a cement factories or you know, uh, wagon loading activities and, you know, aggregate quarries and more or less, most of these places already have power availability. So that's our plan. Volvo does lots of R&D activities for construction equipment. Are you doing the same thing for uh, electric uh, uh, mobility also? Yeah, that's what I mentioned that, you know, uh, globally, we have said that uh, as per our science-based target commitment, uh, we need to reduce 50% of carbon emissions in our day-to-day -day operations, uh, factory operations and all that uh, by 2030 and 30% in the product use. So, uh, in that regard, uh, obviously, we cannot achieve that kind of reduction in carbon, which is roughly around 21 million tons of carbon reduction by 2030 without having products that are electric or hydrogen or something like that. And hence, uh, all our product portfolio has to be uh, transitioned. So we have started work on that and we do electromobility related work both for products made for India but also products that are not used in India or not sold in India but are sold elsewhere. So our R&D capability in India is quite strong and we intend to continue to strengthen it and invest in it. Right. So coming back to uh, BomaCon Expo 2023, uh, how has been the experience so far and what are some of the key takeaways for uh, I think the Bama Khan Expo 2023 is really great. Uh, it has, uh, you know, after four years coming to uh, Delhi again, uh, the previous edition had to be cancelled due to COVID. It was postponed but then cancelled. Uh, hence, um, an exhibition happening in Delhi after four years has attracted a lot of quality footfalls. A lot of customers who are in the buying platform see this as a platform to evaluate brands, evaluate products and engage with clients. So, the footfalls has been great. Uh, so, we are uh, quite satisfied with what we have uh, done being present here and in showcasing our products. And not only that, Delhi is also the place where we can engage more closely with policymakers and, uh, you know, showcasing the launch of our electric machines. This was the best platform we could have used. Right. So, though our uh, Indian budget uh, is not a kind of yearly event, it, throughout the year you can see some or other announcement being made. So, how was, uh, what's your uh, comment on that? you answered my question so it has the budget has become uh, uh, starting to become more of a non event uh, since uh, the uh, and i think it's it's a, it's a good trend because i think uh, the government machinery should not be dependent on one particular date for what it needs to do the rest of the year and we need to become more agile uh, both in organizations but also in the government and in that sense uh, the nature of budgeting and nature of how uh, planning will happen in terms of spending so, budget is like a financial statement of the of the government and uh, that has been presented. The focus was infrastructure last year. It continues to be infrastructure for the coming year. This was expected. And uh, we are very happy with the, the, the focus that they have outlined. And uh, with 10 lakh crores committed for capital expenditure, I think it can only be good for the construction equipment industry. Coming time. Uh, thank you so much, TK, for uh, your time and sharing your inputs. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank it's you. great talking to you. Thank you. So it was Mr. Dimitrov Krishnan speaking to our editor Subhajit Roy about construction equipment performances, future roadmap, the union budget. So stay tuned with Mojo for Industry to know more insights from this BomaCon Expo.
For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.